Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Drew Taylor. For those who are new to checking out the channel, for those who are returning, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm actually gonna be talking about the uh, nine side hustles that can make you money in 2018, right? So uh, first things first, I'm just gonna jump right into it because your time is valuable as is mine. So first on that list uh, we're gonna jump into is numero uno starting a niche blog right okay and so I, I've got WordPress pulled up here most people have heard of WordPress or have at least come into contact at some point uh, but WordPress is really the you know kind of like the the home of all blogs um, pretty much every major blog has been built out on WordPress there's a few other uh, website builders out there now they're you know starting to catch up with WordPress but overall this is literally one of the easiest and fastest way to get a blog up and running and if you have something that you're extremely passionate about that you want to share with the world or maybe you have some niche uh, specific knowledge that not a lot of people have and you know it's gonna draw them to to listening to someone like you then a blog is a great way to go so WordPress Great place to get you know get things started. You can actually start one for completely free, so that is a plus. Uh, otherwise, whenever you're ready to upgrade, it's you literally pay for a domain and some hosting. Might be twenty bucks a month or something like that in order to have the whole kit and caboodle up and running. Um, yes, I do say kit and caboodle sometimes. Uh, anyhow, so that's WordPress number one. Start a niche blog. On WordPress and then you can go ahead and direct people to other products services or maybe uh, you know something that you might build out yourself uh, where they can purchase that through your site but obviously you got to aggregate them into a specific place first before you have an audience to sell to all right so number two would to would be to create a uh, YouTube channel right something that is also niche specific that you're passionate about that you can literally speak hours on ends about um, such as my man, uh, my man, my man, my girl Samantha here. Um, I met her actually a couple years back out in Delaware for a trip that we did with Microsoft. And um, absolutely incredible person, incredible mom, incredible wife. But she had always had a passion for for makeup, you know, for style, for beauty, etc. And so she started creating these little YouTube videos. Um, you know, she obviously. Took her, took her a little while to build things up in the beginning, but before she knew it, she had over 100,000 subscribers. Uh, at this point in time, she's got 264,000 subscribers, so absolutely massive channel, and she's inspiring women all over the world uh, to you know, you know, find their inner beauty through uh, you know, the incredible videos and content that she puts out there. So if you've got something that you're passionate about, might not be makeup, might be business, um, you know, might be, um, oh goodness, I mean, fitness, um, crafting I mean you name it you can start a YouTube channel around it I mean you might be a crazy outdoorsy type person and you want to share uh, you know your different hikes and different you know uh, camping gear with the world any of these is is an easy way to start making money with YouTube and how do you do that right well one you can monetize it right those little ads that you see pop up at the beginning of probably even a video like this uh, those ads uh, you know the individual who is hosting the channel they are actually able to make a little bit off of you watching that ad, uh, literally pennies on the dollar. Um, but if you click it, they'll make a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're visiting someone's uh, YouTube video and uh, you know they, they're putting out good content but they're not really promoting anything, uh, clicking on those ads helps them out a lot if you're interested in what they have to sell. Um, outside of that, I mean, you're making the ad money. Uh, and then if you do have a niche or a specific YouTube channel, you can actually send people or send traffic over to other companies who might either pay you to talk about their company or product or whatever it may be, uh, or you can drive them, you know, drive them directly to a product that you create, which I'll jump into here in just a bit. Uh, you can ignore my, um, <laughs> my keyboard disconnect in there. Um, outside of that, uh, next I've got here, um, you know, you could always create an Etsy store, right? Maybe, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, with YouTube, maybe you're super crafty. Maybe uh, you love to make things with your hands. You just never really found a way to make money with it. Well, with sites like Etsy and Shopify, they make selling your products online extremely easy, you know. And now, while Etsy might seem a little bit more uh, feminine as far as you know these pastel colors and just little artsy things for women, um, you know, I've got 
good friends who are literally making six figures online through Etsy, you selling jewelry and other kind of like little uh, like soaps and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, but you know, if you want something that, you know, where you can host your product, um, Shopify is also another great example of that, um, which I'll, here's Shopify right here. But uh, one of my good buddies, uh, Stephen Huckabee, actually, he owns a site called oakandmortar.com and he's a very crafty guy. So what he does is he loves working with his hands and he always wanted to find a way to, uh, you know, really turn his passion into profit. And so what he started doing was creating these crazy elaborate uh, pieces of wood art. And, um, you know, before he knew it, uh, you know, he was selling in a handful of different um, boutiques and stores around the city, uh, but he wanted his reach to go further. So he built out a, uh, a site on Shopify here. And so, uh, kind of gives you a little bit of uh, intro, but overall, check out some of his products here. And all of his products are one of a kind, so he really only needs to sell, you know, a handful of different products each month to make, you know, some really, really good cash. Uh, so if yeah, if you're crafty like this, jump on Etsy or uh, Shopify, and both of those are a great place to host a store of things that you can make with your hands and sell to those who are interested. Uh, all right, so number four. Uh, would be to start an eBay business or Amazon business, right? We've all we all know about eBay, Amazon, etc. I mean, uh, you know, there's there's multiple people online who have uh, created 100%, you know, very very successful businesses by just going around and garage selling. Literally going to garage sales during that season, finding things that people are selling for a nickel or a quarter or a dollar, whatever, and then going and reselling them. On, on Amazon for you know five, 10, 20, a hundred dollars, whatever it may be. So uh, I've got a good buddy who actually he's been picking up those DVD and VHS combo players for like two dollars at, at garage sales. But apparently, I mean, it's already the cool thing is to you know throw your old VHS tapes in there. And uh, if you're young enough, you might not know what a VHS tape is. I unfortunately know exactly what they are. Grew up in that era. Uh, all the Disney's and 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 then some on uh, uh, on VHS. My favorite being Robin Hood back then. But um, so what he's doing is he's selling these on on Amazon or sorry on eBay for literally fifty hundred dollars for something he bought for like five dollars at a garage sale. So you can go out there find things. You can even check the price on eBay to make sure it's going to sell for more than what you bought it for. And then boom, someone buys it. You ship it out. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, you can do the same thing on Amazon, where you know you've you might buy a lot of something or a bunch of products, or you might have you know some old Beats headphones that you're not listening to anymore. You can go and you know create a selling account on Amazon, get approved, and then sell those products just like you would on eBay. Now this is kind of a, a side note, but it's gonna it's gonna roll kind of right into the next point. But uh, you, you know, a lot of people, um, not a lot of people, but a certain amount of niche people, they have kind of hacked the eBay, Amazon system. And so what they'll do is they'll go on eBay, find very niche products, you know, uh, it could be baseball cards, it could be vacuums, it could be, it could be literally anything. But they've found these products where they're actually cheaper on Amazon and people are selling them for more on eBay. So what they'll do is they'll create a listing, um, and this actually does not, go against the terms and conditions with eBay or anything, um, to my knowledge at least. Uh, that's what I've you know heard and read about. And so what people are doing is they will actually host these uh, or sell these baseball cards or little trinkets or fidget spinners, whatever it may be, on eBay. You know, so, uh, one of my buddies actually, he bought, um, it was like one of those little basketball goals you hang on your door for the office and you just kind of shoot while you're bored at work. Um, and so he bought one of those on eBay for like 25 bucks. Uh, when he got it in, it literally came from Amazon. I uh, had a little Amazon slip in there. And when he looked the same thing up on Amazon, he could have bought it for $12, including shipping. And so um, people are doing that all over the place because not everybody's searching around uh, to get the best deal. They just either jump on eBay or jump on Amazon and assume, and you could actually be making profit by their assumptions. And so that is kind of a form of drop shipping, but uh, you know, true drop shipping is more finding uh, an overseas supplier, creating a store on you know Shopify like like we had up here and linking it to you know a place online where you can get cheap products right you know there's a bunch of different uh, you know uh, companies or websites that promote 
all these companies who are in China that are literally selling stuff for pennies on the dollar. Um, I mean, like these, like geared up cases right here, you're getting them for a dollar, and uh, you know, actually, it looks like ten cents a piece as long as you buy, um, <laughs> as long as you buy a hundred of them. Uh, you get these crazy cases for forty nine cents to sixty five cents as long as you buy fifty of them. So you kind of see what I'm saying here. You like you buy low, and then you can literally sell high on your website and, and most of the times you don't have to touch the product. Um, you can actually uh, get a deal in place or you know get a plugin that works with Shopify where when someone purchases that product, it goes and buys it from a site like this and then it goes ahead and ships it to that client who, or, or potential uh, customer who just bought it and you make the spread in between. So incredible way to make money in 2018. Dropshipping is gonna be huge for a while before it gets oversaturated. Um, just make sure that you you know do your market research. You are in a niche that is going to be thriving. Um, I mean, research is where it all starts. So just make sure you dive in deep. Um, next, right? If you are uh, shoot, if you are you know very well versed in something, maybe you're an incredible copywriter. Or you're great at marketing. Um, you love to write eBooks. Whatever it may be, uh, you can actually become a freelancer. And so. Uh, most people are familiar with this term, but basically it just means there's there's people online, they need help doing particular projects, and you know maybe it's even you know just ga gathering data, uh, maybe it's logo design, etc. But you can jump on a site like Upwork or Elance or uh, even Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, and these sites are all where you can host you know your talents. You know here's what I'm good at, and here's what I charge per hour. And so uh, it's you and a couple other people, you know, kind of competing for this business. So, um, you know, it allows you to really do what you want from home, you know, uh, use your talents to create an income online. And you'll have people coming to you all the stinking time by working with a site like Upwork or Elance. <clears throat> now, next, um, you know, you can actually go and create your own digital products if you'd like. So I've created a handful of diff different digital products myself. Um, I've got a brand new course that's about to come out. Uh, this is an older one that I'm not no, not really promoting anymore, but this was a, a uh, basically a cheat sheet or an ebook that I created. Uh, this was a free one, um, but the course that linked to it was paid. And so uh, you can do the same. If you are um, very versed in a particular niche, um, you know you can go out and create an ebook that people will purchase. You can even sell that ebook through Amazon, Amazon Reads or whatever, at Kindle as a Kindle ebook. Um, uh, you can create a different video trainings and courses based around something that you're you're very knowledgeable in. Uh, you know, like I said, maybe that's marketing, maybe that is um, how to build how to build websites, etc. Create a course, teach people how to do something. And then boom, you're literally making 100% of the profits for the work that you did one time. Um, outside of that, uh, we're skipping over to, uh, most people don't realize, but you can actually buy and sell uh, Instagram accounts. So uh, some people, they go and they just buy accounts low and sell them high. Um, you know, They're not super invested in, the, in them, and so sometimes they're harder to sell. But if you go and you actually build up uh, an Instagram account, you know, such as uh, I'm using an example of one of my good buddies, Johnny. Uh, he has built up this account, you know, to almost 170,000 followers over the last couple of years, and um, you know, this account would go for several thousand dollars right now. And not that it always takes, you know, that much time, or and it could take more time. It just really depends on the niche, how quickly you can grow it, and tapping into some of those Instagram hacks, where um, you know, will help kind of speed up that process. And so, yeah, I mean, you can uh, build out different pages, you know, in the luxury niche, like he has travel, health and wellness, business, uh, really, really anything, whatever you're passionate about, you know, build one up in that niche and just make sure you don't become too attached to it. Otherwise you might not want to sell it. But if you do grow a big enough profile, there are plenty of ways to monetize uh, a large, large following on Instagram. All right. So last but not least, number nine here, um, I've got become a forex or crypto trader right and so as you saw on my previous little uh, cheat sheet download here uh, i've been in the crypto game for over six years now uh, bought my first bitcoins at 82 dollars and have just been kind of watching the craziness that has happened ever since um, over here you know the last year and a half two years i've become a lot more versed in trading um, i also you know I pay for trades um, as far as you know getting signals and things like that from people who are way smarter and better traders than I am, and so I just know where to tap into that 
that knowledge that uh, is going to help me progress and grow further and building out my crypto portfolio. So you've got Forex, uh, which it would be for an exchange where you know you're buying a currency while it's down and then you're selling it when it's high. There's a lot of auto traders out there that actually do that for you if you pay for the license. So I mean, you name it, there are a million and one ways to make an income online. All it really takes is for you to decide exactly uh, the route that you want to go or wherever your passions are taking you. Find something that you're not going to get bored with you know, um, right away. Maybe test the waters on a couple different things. If you're an artsy person, build out your Etsy shop. Uh, if you want to you know, build out a website and then just send traffic to it and get sales uh, you know, without having to host the products, uh, you know, go drop shipping. Uh, if you love social media and you just really want to build a brand or you want to build, uh, you know, um, an account that is niche specific that you can either monetize your own products or sell other people's products through it or even sell the account once it becomes big enough, all of those are incredible income streams. And so you just got to kind of play around with a few of them, figure out what suits you best and, uh, and run in that direction. So hope this video brought you guys value. If you're not already in there, go ahead and jump in the Digital Nomad University group. Uh, this is where I am teaching people on a daily basis how to build a business around their passions and to be able to get paid while traveling. Uh, and so tons and tons of value in there. I know you guys will enjoy it. And if you haven't already, uh, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Would love, love, love to engage with you, answer whatever questions you have. And uh, like I said, come over and join us in the DNU group. Thank you guys so much. Take care. We will see you on the next video.